game is the midway point for the Orioles and their final appearance at home before the All Star break. So on this 4th of July Sunday, let's see if the Orioles can avoid a sweep. It's the Orioles on Masson and on a summer Sunday here at the ballpark the Orioles and the Rays will conclude this three game set in a very short homestand for the Orioles. This is the midway point for the Orioles game number 81 Orioles look to avoid a sweep they have been swept four times so far this season in uh, sets that have three games or more involved they don't want that to happen here because they're going to have to finish up before the All Star break on the road in Milwaukee and Minnesota so they'll try and get the W up today problem starting pitching well it has arisen regarding Tampa Bay take a look at the numbers for the Orioles starters against this Tampa Bay team this season. Dylan Bundy three starts the ERA up at 519 and look at the home runs and of course Tampa Bay is hitting a lot of them Tillman's had the two starts of 579 with two dingers Ebaldo two starts a 1906 against Tampa Bay with three home runs and Wade Miley the best numbers against them the one start at 257 you notice the name not on there is Kevin Gosman. He will try and lower those numbers today Mike. Yeah maybe a little surprise attack but uh, yeah they've definitely uh, been dealt with a tough offense the blue uh, the Rays offense unbelievable this season they're second in the American League in home runs and if you can't put them away they're first in the American League in strikeouts they're going to cause some damage and they've done that against the Orioles this season yesterday pounding out some home runs Morrison a couple more to add to his total I think he's second in the American League right now with home runs so it's a different look offense and the and the uh, Orioles starting pitchers have to find a way to kind of neutralize these bats whether it be early soft contact somehow getting away with some quality strikes down at the bottom of the zone and coming up with a big punch out Kevin Gosselin has been looking pretty good here recently last couple starts it looks like he's back to his old self but uh, he's going to have his hands full today and the Orioles offense uh, not to be overlooked here they are also in a bit of a funk coming into the month of July the hits have not been there the runs have not been there and they've got a number of players in the starting lineup who need to produce who right now are having uh, some problems at the plate yeah definitely and I think the, the biggest guy is Manny Machado obviously he's had some inconsistencies this year Re never really been able to get it going you thought you were going to see something happen uh, the beginning of June where it looked like he he was getting back on track but the inconsistencies have have kept coming he just wants to do so so much up there and you can tell him he's getting out in front too many times and you fear that he's just giving away at bats right now here in the first half he's going to turn it around he, he really has to if the Orioles want to have a chance they've got to be strong at the top of the lineup they're only being led by a couple guys right now Jonathan Scope and Mancini the most consistent players but uh, it would be nice to see the Oriole offense show some consistency they're going to have to put up some numbers today and it's going to be a tough challenge against Alex Cobb he's uh, been hot lately we'll have a lot of time to talk about Alex Cobb because today we'll get the slowest pitcher in the major leagues not because we say that <laughs> but because he is he takes almost 30 seconds between every pitch longer than anyone else in the major so if you're hitting against him you have really got to be patient at the plate yeah you really do he's, he's from the old school Tampa kind of uh, philosophy of taking your time walk around the mound breathe a little bit gather yourself make the pitch repeat you know and it takes a long time uh, over 45 seconds each time he's out there it seems so uh, yeah the Orioles are going to have to be patient with that as well and not let him dictate the pace of the game you know uh, really that's what starting pitchers are supposed to do yeah. and uh, it's a long tiring process yeah, when he's is. on the bump. All right, we'll see how this one goes on this Sunday. Great to have you with us here at Camden Yards. It's the Rays and the Orioles. Check the starting lineups. Look at another roster change for the Orioles as well.
Orioles baseball on Masson is brought to you by Southwest. Say yes to low fares with nothing to hide. That's transparency. And indeed, uh, July 4 weekend, it is summer, no question. BGE Home Baltimore's home team for heating, cooling, plumbing, and electrical. Why would you call anyone else? We have a 90 degree afternoon, some high clouds. Humidity actually a little lower than uh, last night at 41%. Breeze blowing from right to left for the moment. Here's the starting lineup for these Rays Smith, Dickerson, Longoria, Morrison, Sousa Jr., Beckham, Featherston, Sucre, and uh, if you're in Canada, Bojo will make the start <laughs> in the number nine spot. Longoria at Camden Yards. What a career here. Well, let's take a look at Kevin Gosman's scouting report tonight. Yeah, keep building. He's been on a nice little roll. Zero runs on the board first time in his last start, shutting down uh, the Blue Jays. So uh, Kevin Gosman feeling pretty good about himself. He's got a two pitch mix though here lately. Just the fastball change up combination. He's kind of put that breaking ball on the back burner. Let's see how he attacks this raise lineup this afternoon and depth needed. You hear it every time out. Yeah, starters got to get deep in the ball games. No, Kevin Gosman's heating up, looking better on the bump. Still hasn't pitched into the sixth inning here in a while. A 607 earned run average, four wins on the year for Kevin Gosman. Opponent sitting a robust 327 overall, and he has given up the 14 home runs this season. So ready to go on this Sunday game as. Standing in Smith will lead it off against Gosman. Kevin Cash will not be doing a lot of walking around fractured an ankle. Today so uh, there'll be no pitching changes made by the manager. He'll be on the bench and uh, sorry to hear that for Kevin that's. Not for anybody right. <laughs> especially for somebody trying to wandering uh -huh. around baseball. He was probably skateboarding into the park. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the old one delivery on the way and a breaking ball that's going to be in there for a strike as well. Kevin another of the Oriole pitchers first inning woes 12 first inning runs the most of uh, any inning on the season. So he'll try and get through that swing and a miss starts out successfully with a strike. Goal. Wow he used all three pitches as well. I think a look at the uh, Mercedes pitch cast here first pitch fastball backdoor breaking ball. Yeah the Vulcan change showing up here 86 miles an hour. Look at the movement there nasty pitch from Gosman. Nice way to start the day. Left handers in the uh, lineup especially towards the top of it in Smith Corey Dickerson is up there now then Morrison who will be batting in the number four spot the 275 left hander average but that big 359 by the right handers against Kevin so far this year Corey Dickerson has been held down here in this series only one hit in eight at bats for him Dickerson still up there among the uh, leaders. Going into the second half of the season, he is second only to Altuve in average in the American League, and he leads the league in hits 104, third in runs scored, and third in extra base hits. Kevin Gosman with the 0 1 delivery on the way, and that will be taken inside. Kevin has made nine starts at home this year, two and three, ERA at 505 here at Camden Yards this season. It's his fifth start. Of the uh, against the Rays, ball popped up in the air into foul territory. Maybe playable. It is and handled. Good job by Joey Rickard. Yeah, nice play, Rickard. Uh, in left field throughout this series made a couple nice plays. Take a look at the Oriole defense behind Gosman. Yeah, Rickard in left. Jones and Smith join him in the outfield. to hot and scope up the middle. Machado and Mancini on the corners, and Caleb Joseph getting the start this afternoon. Kevin Lifetime has gone three and four. First start of the year against this ball club and the tenth of his career. ERA at 4.8 in those starts against the Rays. That one fouled off. Wheat swing by Longoria on a pitch that was away. Longoria's had another good series against the Orioles. Four for ten in the first two games. Well, he maintains a 303 average this year this year against the Orioles popped up right behind Sega Bay shortstop it'll be handled great inning Kevin Gosman gets out of the always troublesome first throwing only eight pitches and retiring the side in order.
division six and a half behind Boston and they are two games ahead of last place Toronto. Take a look at the starting lineup for the Orioles brought to you by Southwest. Yes the low fares with nothing to hide. That's transparency. Smith Machado and scope Jones Trumbo Mancini Joseph Tejada and record last 10 games for Jonathan Moore of some real good scope goodness. Let's take a look at Alex Cobb scouting report uh, this afternoon. He has been on a recent roll last four starts pitching to a tune of one six three. Yeah, he has found his command for sure and doing it with a big curveball well spun breaking ball keeping the hitters off balance. He's had a nasty change in the past but hasn't had the feel for it. So it's the breaking ball that's coming up big as his secondary pitch and health is wealth. It seems like injuries have plagued him throughout his career set back a couple years ago with a Tommy John surgery every year in his major league career. He's missed stints, big stints of time now at the age of twenty nine and a career mark of just forty two and thirty because of all of those injuries here is Seth Smith to lead it off of the Orioles shift on in the infield Cobb will be up high with it. Cobb has got about a three to one ratio of strikeouts per walks. Both of these pitchers Gosman and Cobb come in having surrendered a lot of hits. Cobb has given up the sixth most hits in the American League and Gosman the second most. 1 0 delivery on the way. Hit pretty well in the gap but playable. Smith will put it away. Take a look at the Rays defense behind Cobb this afternoon. Dickerson, Smith, and Borges will roam in the outfield here at Camden. Beckham and Featherston up the middle. Longoria and Morrison on the corners, and Sucre doing the catching this afternoon. That'll bring Manny Machado up. Manny's had a one for eight in this series, and uh, only a 194 batting average against the Rays on the year, 217 overall. Manny's uh, two for 17 off Cobb with one home run. Cobb's delivery is in there for a strike. Alfonso Marquez, the home plate umpire. There is no umpire in the majors whose calls more often benefit the hitter than Marquez. So the pitchers know coming out, you better have it in that strike zone because if it's close, it's not going to go your way. <laughs> right. Well, good for the hitters. You would say that. <laughs> <laughs> one one delivery on the way. Up a little bit tried to drive it. Couldn't square it up one and two. I like that Manny Machado has got to kind of zone up. Lately getting a little too uh, aggressive with the upper body reaching down there trying to get breaking balls. And pitches down below his knees. Nice aggressive hack at that hanging breaking ball. Here's the one two delivery on the way. Cobb also has got a little funkiness in that delivery a little hesitation. Absolutely that's the key. How about that point in that toe directly at the third base dugout and then the hesitation on top glides down the mound but that uh, that little hesitation just to break you know some of the rhythm and timing obviously of the hitter. Manny holds the count at a ball in two strikes. And that one hit hard, knocked down by Beckham. Fine play. Beckham back in with a bad ankle that kept him out yesterday, but didn't hurt him right there. Boy, that was a beauty. Man, he stung that baseball. Continues to hit the ball hard without any luck. How about that? Fully stretched up the middle quickly to the feet. It's that shoulder lined up to first base. That's a big league shortstop play right there. Of course, uh, the Rays ended up getting Hetcher Maria to play shortstop. Beckham typically moving over to second base here lately, but uh, sliding into the shortstop position and has not missed a beat. Nice one there. Here is Jonathan Scope with two down and nobody on. Scope a good series. Home run, couple of RBIs, two for seven. That should be taken. Jonathan Scope uh, mashing the ball and yesterday hit his team leading 16th home run straight away center field. Yeah big ball. So you know reason not liking that. Jonathan so consistent this season. Jonathan with the 39 extra base hits is in the uh, top 10 in that department ranked sixth coming in still up there in doubles with uh, 23. 
He is fifth tied for fourth actually coming into today's play and uh, runners in scoring position fifth best average continuing his outstanding first half will he be at the all star game the announcements are made tonight at seven o'clock here's the one one delivery on the way and the pitch is taken inside how about Jonathan scope moving up the all time leaderboard for uh, home runs by second baseman uh, some big names on that list Brian Roberts obviously topping it out but scope power coming last year 25 homers this year already 16 home runs Maybe, uh, breaking that record soon. Do one delivery on the way infield shifted around bounced up and caught him in the upper body. God will stay at two and two Cobb against the Orioles four and one and an amazing 2.0 ERA here in this ballpark he's pitched well he's gone two and oh at Camden Yards ERA a little higher here at three six five this is the sixth start he's made here and he's only given up one home run to the Orioles in this ballpark two ball two strike count. Both pitchers after one two three innings and that one's fouled off at the plate just nub there. Take a look stat cast powered by AWS gives you the positioning on the shift. Yeah, sliding everybody over on Jonathan scope. Even with the two strikes you can see uh, how teams play different tendencies throughout a count. A lot of teams with two strikes slide the infield back over because most generally you would think the hitters would back the ball up but uh, a lot of hitters get more aggressive trying to get it out in front two twos up high so a full count on Jonathan scope trying to keep the inning alive for Adam Jones scope has been a workhorse he uh, comes in among the leaders eighth and in innings pitched hundred and one coming into the ball game. 3 2 delivery on the way and a breaking ball got him. Fooled him with that one and he is out of there on the curveball. That's the pitch that has been so good for him so far this year. Coming up, we'll take a look. Jim Coons AL League leaders. When you're talking cars, you're talking Coons. How about the home run pace the uh, Rays are putting on right now? 127 home runs this season, second in the American League at 1.5 per game, first in club history. Yeah, an offensive minded Rays. What? Typically, they're all about pitching. Five players with 10 or more home runs. Here they are Morrison, Dickerson, Souza Jr. They've combined for 57. And they are hard in the heart of this order. Morrison stepping to the plate right now. Logan Morrison, the 29 year old, the great first half he has had. And what a series two home runs, three RBIs in this one. And the pitch will be taken away for a ball. He had injuries last year, first season with the Rays. Forearm strain, cut finger, kept him out of some games. So far this year, rocking and rolling. Pitch will be. Taken down low and the count will go to two and zero. Oh. For Morrison, he is one for six. Lifetime against Kevin Gosman. 
Tampa Bay has already passed the midway point. They're 43 and 40 on the year. And that one is going to miss inside as well. Morrison is tied for second in home runs with Springer of Houston. Aaron Judge, 27 on top. Judge leads in RBIs, 62. Morrison is fourth, runs batted in, 57 of them. 3 0 delivery on the way. Didn't need a green light there. He will pick up a leadoff walk. Yeah, I think, uh, intentionally being really careful right there to Morrison. How about most 3 2 counts this season? Orioles leading the way, of course, coming off the heels of yesterday's where they must have had 16 or 17 3 2 counts. How about that total? 536 3 2 counts. That does not help these guys get deeper into ball games. The Rays down there at 461. But that's been the bugaboo really for the whole rotation. Uh, too many pitches too early on. Those three two counts certainly don't help. The goal pitched us early soft contact. Had a hard time doing it. That is a wild pitch. Runner will get down to second base. Ball goes to the dugout looking at third. Will stay there as Mancini comes over to get it. That one really ricocheted off Caleb Joseph and uh, Sousa at the plate was hollering out to Morrison to make a big turn just in case he had a chance to go to third base. Well, Looks like Caleb was in a good position to block this one, but uh, kicked off hard. Might have come off the mask to go that far over towards first base. How about spiked on the grass? So mm -hmm. that's a big miss right there, about 10 feet out in front of home plate. Tough for Caleb Joseph to read it and uh, bounces away. Lucky he just stays at second. Fourth wild pitch of the year by Gosman puts a runner in scoring position. Four for 17 for Tampa Bay in the series in these situations. And Sousa has been an RBI leader against the uh, Orioles here in this series and on the season. He's the DH today. He has picked up five RBIs in this series against the Orioles. 1 1 delivery to him. Fastball is going to move inside. The DH is 0 for 2 lifetime off Kevin Gosman. I will say this Kevin Gosman not feeling for that fastball right now. He is cutting it loose, every one of them. Up over 95. That one there, 96 miles an hour. A two ball, one strike count. Pretty good lead for Morrison. At second base, Orioles aren't trying to hold him close. 2 1 pitch on the way. A little off that and movement. 2 2. A good change up. Kevin Gosman really been going to the change up here lately. A nice one. Well located down and in. Caleb Joseph giving the target down, hitting that spot. Well executed to get advantage of this count. Souza, 280 runners in scoring position is one of the better numbers for this Tampa Bay team, which is ninth overall in the American League. Two ball, two strike count. Pitch on the way to him, and he'll uh, get a piece of that into his own dugout, fouled it off. So the count remains at two balls and two strikes. And Kevin Gosling, we talked about, uh, kind of filed that slider away. He only threw. Maybe three or four in his last outing, but uh, certainly fastball dominant, about 75% fastball. So that was a good sign. His ability to actually have success with just the fastball changeup combination. 2 2. Here we go again. Be the seventh pitch of the at bat. Foul balls rained to virtually everybody in the crowd in the ball game yesterday. I don't think I've ever seen a game with that many foul balls. We don't have a total count, but it went on and on and on in the ball game, and the pitch count for both pitchers ended up skyrocketing because of it. Runner off second base, nobody out. Two two step off, step out. And Souza asked for the timeout. Huh. Like a little cat and mouse game going on there with Kevin Gosman. Two two delivery on the way and that's going to miss down low. So the count goes full three balls in two strikes. Kevin trying to get to that outside corner again. Been a problem for him uh, consistently. Staying on that glove side. Two pitches here against Souza. Leaking back over. Big lead at second three two delivery on the way and he gets him came back in a little bit and gets the strikeout. Oh, nice change up there. Kevin Gosman starting it on the plate. 
This is a junior looking back. Was that a ball? Heck yeah, it was a ball, but it started as a strike the whole way. Starting at the knees. Looks like the four seam fastball. Turns it over a little bit. The change, and look how far out in front Souza is. But, uh, taking about eight or ten miles an hour off his heater. He acknowledges it. Hey, nice pitch right there. I'll see you again. Couple of strikeouts in the ball game for Gosman. Here's Beckham. Beckham with a one for six lifetime off the Orioles starter. Morrison still at second base in the dirt. Caleb Joseph gets to block that one. Beckham's been bothered by an ankle that the raise of concern might be something that's going to act up on and off. He came out of the ball, didn't play yesterday, came out of the ball game the night before, late in the game. First round choice in 2008. He is uh, 27 years old, still trying to find that blossoming time at 247 last year with a ball club. 1 0 delivery on the way, and that will be on the outside corner for a strike. Yeah, nice pitch with the fastball. And started him off with a slider. Caleb Joseph uh, actually liked the pitch. He spiked it down and away. Didn't back up on him at all. Back I'm waiting on the 1 1. Up under the arms, a two ball, one strike count. Orioles trying to avoid being swept here by this ball club for the Orioles. But, uh, they haven't been swept by this ball club since September of 2013. And the uh, last sweep here was also 2013 in May, a three game set. They have clinched, uh, Tampa Bay has clinched the first series win against the Orioles in the last seven. They've gone with uh, five losses and a tie in the previous six series. 2 1 delivery on the way, set up away, fouled off. Big bouncer he got on top of, and a two ball, two strike count. Yeah, the Orioles uh, coming in the series only had the advantage by wins. Both teams pretty evenly matched coming into this series, but the Rays offense really starting to uh, pick up, become more consistent. They've been putting it on the O's, and the O's offense trying to get it going here against the Rays today. Count two balls, two strikes, pitch on the way to him, and again gets him with a good pitch inside. That's the third strikeout, two in a row here in the second inning. A big fastball there from Gosman, 97 miles an hour. But hitting the glove, Caleb Joseph sliding to the inside part of the plate. Perfect execution there. Just blew Beckham away with the heat. So right away, the Rays go 0 for 2 with runners in scoring position, and now here is Featherston. He's getting the start at second base. He's had four at bats in this series and gone 0 for 4. Outfield will shade a little bit to right on him. Infield pretty much straight up. Osmond's delivery to him. Swung through the 94. Always important for Kevin Gosman, any of the Orioles pitchers, to really establish that fastball. They've all had problems with it this season. Featherston will take it. 27 year old last year with the Phillies, spent most of his time at Triple A with Lehigh Valley. Only 19 game with the uh, 19 games with the Phillies. And ended up being uh, acquired. And is getting some time in the infield, not a Texas Christian University. 1 1 delivery to him. Check swing. Did he go? No. Chad Fairchild down to first. Oh, pretty close, though. Tell gearing up for the Gosman fastball. Hmm. Does hold up on the change. God will go to 2 and 1. Morrison, a long time out there, baking in the sun at second base. Lead off walk, wild pitch to second. 2 1 delivery on the way, and that is a strike. Great movement down, froze him two and two. I like it, uh, like the location. And more importantly, only if Kevin Gosman can execute, he's going to be dominant. Yeah, uh, Caleb Joseph setting up away, worked back over. That was in the middle of the plate, but the hitter gave up on it because it started away. Two two delivery down to third and foul. One that was up, and Featherston got way around on that one. Boy, 98 miles an hour, and he was turning on it. Sitting all over that heater. 
Featherson's become one of those MVP most versatile player guys. He's had eight starts, second base, third base, comes on as a pinch hitter late in a ball game. 2 2 delivery on the way to him, and that ball in the air to center, Adam Jones. Adams got it, that'll do it, as Godwin works through a potential jam with that runner at second. That's right where he leaves him. We go to the bottom of the second. Is Michael Gavinet 500 for being selected? 500 more for Ferrario's home run hit today, and you can play home run riches scratch offs. Went up to 50,000. Enter non-winning tickets for a chance to be the contestant of the game. Just go to mdlottery.com/home run. Michael, good luck today. Orioles try and pick up the home run pace for the July weekend. A lot of folks, a lot of youngsters at the ballpark that get to run the bases today. The ages four to 14. After the game, which is always a great treat for them, along with all the other treats they have during the game. No score as we go to the bottom of the second inning. Jones, Trumbo, and Mancini. The Orioles are even on the season series now against Tampa Bay, four apiece. The Rays have won three while losing two in the games played here at Camden Yards this year. Adam Jones two for eight in the series does have a three game hit streak going. Good 269 average lifetime against Cobb. Cobb's delivery will be on the inside corner for a strike. There's your shift. Didn't Adam get a base hit to right field? Yes, he did. His ball game. I mean. I don't know. Oh one delivery on the way goes right into the shift this time. Beckham. One down. Nice little run and play. We're talking about Cobb, how well he's pitched here in the month of June. It's June 4th. Uh, he's leading all of Major League Baseball, that 163 or third, I should say, excuse me. And uh, pitching very well, found the breaking ball. And once you know it, on June 3rd, he had his worst start of the season. He gave up nine runs in five innings. So coming out of that ball game, he made an adjustment and he has been dominant. Only five runs given up in his next four starts. His last one. An eight inning shutout he had against Pittsburgh. Here is Mike Trumbo. Cobb believes he'll be even better as the season goes along as he gets a feel for the changeup back. He said after his last start, he said, uh, I got some big outs in the last game with a changeup, but I wouldn't say that it is fully back. There are times when I've thrown it when it's felt right in line, and then others where I've Changed my delivery a little bit and it doesn't work. So he's still after a real good feel on that changeup. Yeah, a couple of years ago before he went under the knife for that Tommy John surgery, that was his best pitch and a pitch that he almost threw like 40% of the time. So still trying to get the feel for that one, but uh, the breaking balls kind of picked up the slack a little bit. As it ever, we saw the curveball on the strikeout against Scope. 1 1 delivery by Cobb, jammed him to the middle. Beckham, busy day at short. Did he get the bag? Yes. 
Two down here in the second inning. Orioles are going to host the Cubs on July 14 through the 16 here at Oriole Park. For each game, fans are encouraged to bring any non perishable food item and cash donations benefiting the Maryland Food Bank, part of the 31st annual Orioles Reach Food and Funds Drive presented by Masson, WJZ TV, and uh, Pompeian Brands. Go for tickets at Orioles.com or 888 848 Bird. Taking up high, Mancini. Trey's not had a hit in the last three games. First time in his young career that he's gone through a three game stretch without a base hit. He's uh, not had a hit in his last 12 at bats, including an 0 for 8 in the first two of this series. 1 0 delivery to him inside fouled off. Now they're starting to uh, move the ball around a more aggressive inside, but in off the plate. Uh, they're a little two seamer. It was a good six or eight inches in there. And Trey Mancini is real good at covering. Mistakes in and off the plate, but uh, they're aggressive in, more aggressive than in the past. But then go to that outside corner with the breaking ball. 1 1 delivery by Cobb. Came back inside, but missed it. And a two ball, one strike count. Interesting to see whether Trey might be selected somehow, some way for an all star appearance. 2 1 delivery on the way. Drills that one right center field. Smith going over. Has it for the out. 1 2 3 inning. Six in a row retired by Cobb. He needed only nine pitches. And on a hot day like this, that will matter. To look forward to Miller time later in our ball game today, brought to you by Miller Lite. Those who wanted to get to the beach, boy, this Fourth of July weekend looks like it's going to be ideal, as it is heated up. 90 degree days every day, expected to stay Monday and uh, Tuesday, the Fourth of July. No score in this one. It'll be Sucre number eight, and then Borges, and the top of the order, Smith coming up against Kevin Gosman, a walk and three strikeouts so far for Kevin. Each team still looking for the first hit of the ball game. So Cray, the catcher, will take it for a strike on the outside corner. 42 games last year. Injuries all over the place for him. Suffered in winter ball that affected his playing time. Only got in nine games with Seattle last year and then was acquired for future considerations. He was a non roster invitee to camp this year for the Rays. Yeah, that's how the Rays work, isn't it? Uh, seem to pick up a lot of players like that and uh, see who wants it more. A little competition in spring training, and they were challenging guys. They brought Borges into spring training. Of course, Ramos was on the DL with the bum knee last season, so uh, he's going to get uh, spotty playing time until you know he can get his legs underneath him consistently. Sucre is a real fine defensive catcher. He's in the minor leagues, and in the little time he's had in the majors, he's. His throw up percentage has been up 41 42 percent and uh, not a bad uh, minor league average 259 but at the majors just uh, over Mendoza 
Ground ball right back into the glove. Play made over to Mancini. How about Kevin Gosman? Last two starts and not too bad. We've been waiting for him to turn the corner. Put a couple together. You build off that. He's looking good today. A 2 4 5 earned run average. Pretty impressive. His last start, five and a third. No runs on the board against the Blue Jays. And even that Cleveland series, his start, uh, he gave up three runs. He did give up a home run in that ball game, but he was much more consistent with his location. His fastball command was on. And uh, once again, I'll go back. He was kind of filing that breaking ball. He has shown it a couple times in this ball game. But it's been primarily the fastball change. Gorgeous. A couple of hits, seven at bats on the year against the Orioles. Only one at bat in this series. He's getting the start in right field today. Pitch taken away. Souza started in right, goes to the DH role. Kevin Cash moves a number of players around in and out of the DH position Dickerson Souza even Morrison as a result their DH is number one in the American League an average of 298 they are third in runs at 49 and they are tied for first in home runs with 16 and that's 49 RBIs they are third in out of the DH role and a swing and a miss two down Wow. sometimes it's unfair. Kevin Gosman uh, getting ahead in this count and then a change up at the bottom of the zone and how about 98 to the top. Yeah some noise right by Borges here a little late in Joseph's glove for strike three. Good luck right here. Zoom ball. Woo. Staying on plane riding through the top of the zone. Malik Smith in the leadoff spot brings Machado in. He has attempted to bunt a number of times in the series unsuccessfully so far. A strikeout victim his first time up and in this ball game getting his first look at Kevin Gosman. 0 1 delivery to him. And based on uh, what he's what we've seen of his swings against Kevin Gosman he is not picking up the ball well against Kevin. No he is not a little in between and I think that first uh, at bat when he saw the split finger boy oh boy he went are you kidding me. There it is again. Nasty pitch. Looks just like the fastball coming out of the hand and just dive bombing down and away. Well, he's trying to get a better look at it here. Here's the one two delivery on the way. That will miss inside. A two ball, two strike count. Two down here in the third. Nobody on. Pitchers starting out both hot. Cobb and uh, Gosman, both literally and figuratively. Two two pitch. And line it up, fouls it away. Well, even if uh, you're a two pitch pitcher, as Gosman's been here, you know, you've got such a good fastball, 98 miles an hour there. If you can move it around a little bit, that's what drives the hitters crazy. They start picking a pitch, and even if they sit on a fastball, there's so much life on that heater from Gosman, they're not able to get to it. Manny Machado will give it a look, and that'll be out of play. So the count stays two balls and two strikes. Orioles with a quick wrap up here of just the three game homestand head on the road tonight. It'll be uh, Independence Day in Milwaukee including a July three game tomorrow be uh, on Masson 130 O's extra two o'clock for the ball game. Wade Miley will go for the Orioles yet to be determined for the brew crew and he got him. Five strikeouts, two more in the inning, and he's had Smith twice on K's. Smith just waving at this one. No score.
Clint Frazier how many Yankees can they uh, have down there in the minor leagues who come up and start out with a home run he's a right fielder number two prospects first game with the Yankees double and a home run and uh, out of Boston David Price's spat with broadcaster and Hall of Famer Dennis Hankersley reportedly today was due to a remark that was made about another Red Sox player still not clear how far that went and the Blue Jays take a look at this from SB Nation. The once mighty lineup has all but disappeared. So the Blue Jays went from scoring 203 runs more than the average team last year to now being on pace to score 79 runs less than the average team in baseball. Yeah. That's a turnaround. They're getting a little older up there fast, aren't they? Yes. I think that's the problem. Yeah, and they're in danger of sinking all but out of sight going into the All Star break. And it just, you just get the feeling. That uh, morale is not very high right now yeah. in Toronto. Well, it's tough because um, a couple years ago when they brought in some of their team leaders like Russell Martin, uh, Tulowitzki came into the program. You know, it kind of energized that organization. But uh, Father Time seems to have caught up with those guys a little bit. Not as productive as they've been in the past, and of course the injuries have set them back as well. Caleb Joseph, 0-1 delivery to him from Cobb. Toronto's in last place in the East. They are eight and a half games behind division leading Boston. They've lost three in a row. They are playing Boston again today, trailing early in the ballgame two to one. Caleb's got a three game hit streak coming in. 0 2 pitch on the way from Cobb. Intended to be away, and that's exactly what it was. One ball, two strike count. It appeared as though Sucre was going to throw the ball around. That might not help you get more strike calls here. Pretty good fastball down and away, but obviously off that outside corner. In a tight strike zone, he comes out of the chute ready to throw it around. Caleb says, You better get back in there. That's a ball. Here's the 1 2 delivery. Oriole catcher will take another one away. And this is where, like, little cat bounces that, you know, a lot of obviously we don't see it from here, but uh, in the game. Now, Caleb will go back there and they'll say, Wow, what was Sucre thinking on that? Uh, Pitch out, you know, that fastball outside. You know, have a little conversation, too. you know. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Inside out fouls it away. Those catchers, man, that's how they work them. Yep. Some pretty impressive catching gear right there, though, huh? That that's is. Blue. Well, the 4th of July holiday. Uniforms, equipment in celebration of the fourth. Two ball, two strike count. Caleb got jammed. Trying to find the Bermuda Triangle. And does! He's got a base hit. Caleb on with a leadoff single here in the fourth inning, extending his hit streak to four games. He is seven for his last 11. Oh, yeah. And when you're hot, you are hot. Finding some grass in the outfield here, nestling in between Smith. Oh, yeah. And Beckham. Nice job by Caleb Joseph. Fighting off a tough pitch. So the Orioles get the leadoff man on. And there's the first hit of the ball game. Tejada, the Orioles shortstop, a couple for seven in this series. Infield will set at double play depth. Now Longoria will creep in a couple steps more, even with a bag, and hit him on the first pitch. That is the sixth hit batter by Alex Cobb this year, and it also got the catcher Sucre is down as he caught part of that on the rebound. Now take a look right here. Looks like the fastball. Loses it up and in. Catching Tejada on the shoulder. And how about when the hand comes up? Oh, right on the top of the thumb. Man, oh man, has it protected. And then unfortunately takes it from behind the back and catches it. Never safe back there as a catcher. Mm. Mm -mm. Took it worse than Tejada. And what are your chances? Listen to this. Ooh. Double whammy. Yeah, Tahada just shaking that one off up on the tricep, but uh, a lot of bones down there around the thumb of Sucre. Well, 
with a grip test, but uh, boy, we've seen that come up faults before. You know, a couple guys get down to first base after getting hit by a pitch. They do the grip test and stay in the game. Then they come out after, get an X-ray and some problems in there. He doesn't look too happy. Yeah, JJ uh, hitting the wrist by a pitch. He actually went down to first base, did the test as well. Gonna try and stay in. He'll need to throw a couple here. See if he can get a grip on the baseball. And this is yet another one of those type of injuries, or even if he stays in here, it may yeah. come up and be a little tighter later on in the game. He might have to go grab a bat. That's when you yeah. get the problems. Yeah. You get that vibration in there. So Sucre will stay in and the Orioles. Get a chance at an inning. A base hit by Joseph, the hit batter to Hada. That'll bring Joey Rickert to the plate with nobody out. Rickert has had just a great series, especially defensively. He's also gone uh, two for eight with a couple of RBIs and a run scored at the plate. The Orioles have gone two for 11 against. The Rays with runners in scoring position in the first two games. Nobody out against Cobb. Rickard standing in, looking for Bunt. Squared around, taking up high. They were charging Longoria at third and Morrison at first. Now Rays look like uh, prepared for it. Both corner infielders coming in tight on Joey Rickard. High breaking ball. Take a look, Morrison up at first base. And Longoria was coming in as well. The take on the high breaking ball. Walks him back up. Rickard has had one sacrifice this year. Runners off first and second. Everybody moving in the infield pops it back. Looked as though he at the end may not have wanted to go after that, but the bat was out there. No, he didn't. Waiting for that breaking ball. He thought it might come down a little bit, but it stayed up. Actually brought the bat back, then pokes out at it. Yeah, a little self talk after that one. Oh, one ball, one strike count. See if the bunt is still on here. Joseph at second. Tahad at first, still in at first and third. Morrison at first, especially coming. 1 1 delivery on the way. He does drop it. They're going to try and go. Oop, the first. Almost bobbled by Cobb. Good sacrifice puts two in scoring position. Yeah, nicely done there by Joey Rickard and uh, once again some problems defensively. We saw it in Tampa with some bunt execution. Now Morrison a better opportunity to come through that ball and maybe get a play at third base but Cobb a little more aggressive off the bump. It's the play a little bobble makes it bang bang at first base but uh, I think there might have been a shot to get the lead runner at third there. Yeah, I think Morrison thought so too but had to get out of the way. Yeah. Orioles catching a break. So the Orioles two in scoring position for Smith the leadoff batter. Seth is in these situations hit 2076 for 29 with runners in scoring position. The infield the shift is on. They're going to play the shortstop Beckham close to the bag and in a little bit. And they'll go for a play at the plate if the runner goes and the ground ball ends up going to Longoria. And yeah, not wanting to make it too easy on the Orioles. So uh, Longoria up in tight. Potentially take away that bunt. 1 0 count. Cobb's delivery to him. Count goes to 2 0. Cobb wanted that one looking in. Where was it? Seth Smith. Uh, Pretty consistent using the field strength to the middle. Obviously pull many times uh, the shift incorporated on Smith but lately he's been using the whole field driving the ball more towards uh, left center. 2 0 pitch on the way to him breaking ball in there there's a. Pitch that has frozen some hitters maybe. Froze Sucre. As he wanted to go out and talk to Cobb. With a two ball one strike count on Smith. Definitely going to make sure here, you know, uh, are you going to be careful with a base open? 
Everybody's got to be on the same page. Beckham coming in to make sure the signs didn't get changed right there. He's got a lot of responsibility up the middle now because uh, Longoria obviously a little closer to third base, but he's got uh, he's got to cover the shortstop side of second base and that second base side. Smith waiting on the 2 1 delivery. Haxon, runner not coming. Make sure. And throw it away! It'll go down the right field line. That'll score Joseph. Tejada will stay at third as it comes to the plate. Everything that Cobb could have wanted, and he blew it. <laughs> yes, he did. That's the old Yoik's in a way play right there. Cobb, nice job getting off the bump. But just never made that shuffle step. And this is what uh, pitchers work on in PFP. Take a little step to your target. Create a little rhythm there. He just plants the backside and actually picks up the target late. Take a look. He's got the target there at third base. <laughs> Freezes the runner. And then, oh my gosh, there it goes down the right field line. Then he's pointing where to throw the baseball. Yeah, Orioles all over the bases. Very big play early in the ballgame. Error charge to Cobb. Run scores on the air. Joseph still runners at second and third, and still only one away for Manny Machado. Manny will take the pitch on the inside corner for a strike. That's one of those plays that changes the complexion of a ball game in a hurry. Cobb has made now three errors on the year. Oh, one count. Todd is at third, Smith down at second. Oh, one to Manny, rips it left field, way back. Goodbye, home run. Manny Machado and the Orioles lead it 4 0. Machado making that error a costly error 16th home run of the season to tie Jonathan scope for the team lead and he pured that baseball Boy, what a nice swing from Machado then he gets RBI's 39 40 and 41 on that one swing of the bat and the Orioles have four runs on two hits and an error. One down, base is empty, and a ground ball into the shift. Beckham will play it, makes the running throw, and uh, that will retire scope. Let's take a look at Manny Machado's home run, 111 miles an hour off the bat. Elevated fastball. Wow, Manny stays tall. And actually moved inside, pulls the hands in, lightning quick to that baseball. Effortless swing. All right, that's Manny Machado. And he gets his first home run against Tampa Bay this year in the 11th of his career. And he tagged that one. So Cobb has given up 11 dingers now, seven of those hit by right handers. And that's only the second home run Cobb has surrendered in this ballpark to the Orioles in his career. Breaking ball away. And for Michael Gavinet, our Maryland Lottery contestant, $500 on the Manny Machado home run. One oh delivery on the way and uh, fouled out of play down the right field side. So the Orioles get their one hundred and thirteenth home run of the year. Manny nailing that one and that's the uh, sign the Orioles hope is an indication of what the second half is going to look like for Manny Machado at the plate. Oh yeah. Boy, they need him. They need him back. 1-1 one, one delivery on the way by Cobb and came in jammed him. Foul back for a strike. It seems like every time the Orioles uh, hit these bunt situations against the Rays though, they just fall apart. Yeah, down in Tampa there were a couple bunt situations that the Rays just couldn't quite uh, handle. They didn't make any errors but they didn't get any outs on the plays. And here Cobb. Field his own position, but uh, yeah, the bunt advancing, 
runners. It was uh, potentially misplayed because there could have been a force out at third base. And Joey Rickard uh, probably should have bunted the ball actually at third base. You want to get Longoria to field it. So there was a break there for the defense to take advantage of, and they didn't. And Manny Machado took complete advantage of that inning. Tampa Bay down in the uh, bottom five fielding percentage wise in the American League. 2 2 delivery on the way, and that's a couple that Cobb has bounced. And the count goes full three balls and two strikes on Adam Jones. So the Orioles opportunistic here in the third inning against Cobb. The Orioles coming into this game with a distinct negative in run differentials this year of a minus 74 coming into this game. 3 2 delivery on the way. Ground ball towards short again. Beckham. It's like he's in uh, ground ball practice out there at shortstop. But Manny gets it done as the Orioles will pick up the three runs on a couple of hits and an error. The big blow by Machado is 16th of the year. Three RBIs. That is his second career home run against Cobb. Fourth inning of Orioles baseball brought to you by the all wheel drive Ram for Toyota. What drives you? Visit buyatoyota.com for great deals. Gary Thorne and Mike Bordick wishing you a great Fourth of July celebration. The Orioles are going to kick off their own celebration here with a 4 nothing lead. Manny Machado's three run homer. And uh, for Kevin Gosman, he's gone through the lineup and given up just the walk, leading off the second inning to Morrison. Dickerson Longoria and Morrison do up here in the fourth inning Dickerson flied out his first time up you know punch that one down the left field side he's not had a hit against Kevin Gosman in six at bats How important uh, for Kevin Gosman here he's pitching so well just to uh, continue this and have a nice shutdown inning real offense back in there feeling pretty good right now some runs on the board Oh one delivery on the way. Morrison coming in a new man if you will he went on a strict diet changed everything about lifestyle down to uh, 200 pounds coming in about 25 pounds lighter than he was starting last year and made a concerted effort to uh, really change his lifestyle especially in the food and weight department and maybe that's part of it. It's sure has shown up in the numbers. No, I think it absolutely is. And uh, obviously, being strong in this game is a big factor. That'll go to second. Scopes there. And gets the out. I think uh, that health obviously will show up at the end of the year as well. Yeah. He has a second half like the first. Orioles are joining all of Major League Baseball and wearing special patriotic themed jerseys and caps. To honor the fourth, visit Orioles.com slash auctions to bid on these autographed and authenticated game worn jerseys and caps. Proceeds for the USO of Metropolitan Washington Baltimore. Bidding will close Sunday July 9 at 10 p.m. Longoria takes the pitch for a strike. He popped out his first time up. 
Four runs, two hits, no errors for the Orioles. No runs, no hits, and an error, and a big one. Charge to the Rays through the first three. Good jam shot right there. Tejada. Two down. A very efficient Kevin Gosman so far. Boy, I'm telling you. And the key is just the ability to throw strikes, first pitch strikes. Kevin Gosman, a high percentage right now to start the ball game, and that's when you get offenses into that swing mode. And uh, starting to expand a little bit, get some early contact. Pitch count pretty efficient right now. Shift being put on behind Cobb, behind uh, Gosman, rather, as Morrison will stand in. Morrison, their only base runner so far, picking up a walk. A couple of home runs yesterday against the Orioles, six career multi homer game, and the second he has had this year. He had gone six games. Without hitting a home run, but certainly made up for it yesterday. 1 0 delivery on the way. Went upstairs after it, 1 1. Like that, staying away, but uh, moving the heights up and down. Tough to get on top of that pitch for sure. Yeah, don't forget the sunscreen, that's for sure. In summer days. Rub it in. And another swing and a miss. Gosman blowing to buy him at 98. Yeah, and uh, that fastball even continues to play up because the fact that he's shown he can throw the changeup for a strike as well. So he gets ahead with the heater, and the hitter starts thinking, well, he's got to be coming with that changeup sometime soon. Boom, 98, right to the same spot. Here's the one two delivery to him, bounced it. Couple of updates on the Orioles for uh, J.J. Hardy. The hope is he'll be able to get back into play mode, beginning to play after the All-Star break, but not until then. He's not going to have baseball activities prior to the All-Star game. Chris Davis is going to be re-imaged just for precautionary reasons, and then they'll hope he'll be able to get going after the break again. Zach Britton is probably going to be back on the roster on Wednesday, and they will. Obviously have to make another change there. Chris Tillman and his wife still waiting on their first child. So Tillman's scheduled to start out there, but he's not going to go with the Orioles tonight. He'll stay behind. And uh, the Orioles have made decisions on what to do should Chris not be available. That ball towards right field will fall in for a base hit. So there is the first hit of the ball game. Morrison gets it. First hit for Tampa Bay coming with two down here in the fourth inning. Frozen rope right there. A bullet off the bat. Of oh, Morrison, fortunately for Gosman, didn't get that one elevated. This ball stayed in the middle of the plate. Yeah, he hasn't missed many this season. So a two down, a man on. And that will bring Souza to the plate. In fact, so many of these uh, power hitters that the Rays have, the uh, percentage of strikeouts obviously very high. First, the American League, but the on base percentages. So they walk or they hit home runs or they punch out, right? Yep. And uh, it's a big time danger in the middle of this lineup. So this is a strikeout victim his first time up. Talking about starter Wednesday, a move made today. Jimmy Yacobonis has been called back up, right hander Alec Asher. Back down to Triple A, but Asher may be one of those, is one of those under consideration. Should Chris Tillman not be available to make the start on Wednesday, that Asher might be back up in that role. There is Jacobonis, who again has joined the bullpen of the Orioles. Actually, his name to the International League All Star team. Great first half there in Triple A. 2 0 delivery on the way, and Sousa will file that one back. What a series five for ten a couple of home runs four RBIs for Steven Sousa Junior against the Orioles. He is the DH today and here in this ballpark as a result of this series he's now up to his career average to 400 at Camden Yards. 2 1 pitch on the way. Leaned look and left it and a 3 1 count. 
A good pitch there. Change up on the outside corner. Just missing. Sousa not in a rush right now. The guys have been pretty disciplined. Not uh, expanding the zone too often. Three one the count. Morrison. The runner tight to first base. Gosman's delivery to him in the air. Not deep. Jones coming. Jones coming. And he's got it. That'll do it. No runs on one hit. No errors. One left on. The Orioles on top of Tampa Bay. beginning to this uh, final of the three game set against the Rays four nothing lead for the Orioles great look into the ballpark from outside in the warehouse Mark Trumbo will lead it off against Cobb Trumbo grounded out his first time up and the breaking ball will be in there for a strike Cobb really had to settle it in after being his own worst enemy and that throwing error that opened the inning up for the Orioles who took advantage of it to get those three runs on just two hits. That one is rocketed to left field. It is back and goodbye home run. Line drive shot by Mike Trumbo. And the Orioles have a five nothing lead. That was an impressive swing right there by Mark Trumbo. Not a terrible pitch either. His 12th home run of the season. Oh, he's bringing some offense today. That'll be RBI number 40 for the Oriole DH. Second home run against the Rays this year. Second off Cobb today. Take a look at the Trumbo home run. Now the 12th home run of the year. Fastball location, not too bad. Down and in. But Trumbo just drops the head, pulls the hands in tight. Wow, clears the hips. Impressive swing. That's going to get down to third base on the big hop. Longoria's throw. Mancini is retired. One away here in the fourth inning. So Cobb, who, as we mentioned, had given up only one home run in five career starts in this ballpark, has given up two. In the first three and a third innings of this game, and those have been worth $500 each to Michael Gavinet, our Maryland Lottery contestant. One down here in the fourth inning. 
Caleb Joseph base hit he started that third with that single. And we'll take the strike on the outside corner. Here in the. Ball game the hit against Cobb is third lifetime three for eight. And Alex Cobb will work outside to him. Fourth time Cobb's given up two home runs in a ball game. He has not given up more than two in uh, any game this year. But they have been big ones for the Orioles. Two ball, one strike count. Machado the other, the three run shot in the third inning. One of those runs, by the way, was unearned. Here's the 2 1 delivery on the way. This have started, it'll fall in, and a two ball, two strike count. And even those breaking balls that are uh, up high have some sharp finish on the end. Fooling the Oriole hitters. A lot of times you'll see pitchers that make mistakes up in the zone with their breaking ball, and they tend to and you just flatten out up there and uh, get beat on. It's, he's got a real nice finish. On the outside corner for a strike, second strikeout in the ball game for Cobb and two down in the fourth. If you try to wait around for a breaking ball, he'll surprise you on the outside corner with a good heater. How about that one? 91 miles an hour, a little comeback action. Catch the edge there. Been a little off that outside corner. Caleb might be having another conversation <laughs> with the home plate up fire. Two down, bases empty. Orioles with a run in on the homer. Tejada hit by a pitch, scored in the last inning. It is there for a strike. Two teams have played even Steven games with the runs now on the season. Tampa Bay has scored 48, Orioles have scored 44. Including the five on the board today. Not been a lot of difference. Home run wise, the Orioles with two today. They have had 14 against Tampa Bay. The Rays have 15 against the Orioles. 1 1 delivery. Second base on the line, caught for the out. One run on one hit, no errors, nobody left on base. Mark Trumbo picking up his first career home run against Alec Cobb and the Orioles take a 5 nothing lead. And brought to you by PNC Bank for the achiever in you and by Navy Federal proudly serving the armed forces and their families for over 80 years federally insured by NCUA. We go to the fifth inning of the Orioles on top. It will be Beckham leading it off strikeout victim. <laughs> Happy or what. <laughs> It's good when everything's finger food. 
Beckham will take the pitch down low for a ball. Strikeout victim his first time up. One hit, Morrison, single last inning. That's the only one off Gosman through four. 1 0 delivery. And boy, Beckham has just waved at pitches delivered by Gosman. Yeah, and I'm just trying to get on the fastball here. So, uh, getting a little aggressive. Gosman's cutting it loose today. Everything up over 95 consistently. 1 1 delivery on the way to him. Strike in the outside corner. Beckham just kind of drops his bat and shoulders and head. Yeah, those are the type of pitches you just want to hand the bat to the umpire and say, You try to hit that pitch. <laughs> 97 miles an hour down in the way. I don't have any chance. Help me out a little bit. You see in the box, though, pretty good pitch by Gosman. 1 2 delivery to him. That'll be outside. Kevin evens up the count 2 and 2. Kevin after his fifth win. Gosman with a 607 ERA coming in. And to get that down as well. 2 2. Numbers are just so exaggerated for Kevin compared to last year. With the uh, right handers hit 288 last year. That's high, but 359 this year. He held lefties to 232 last year. They're up to 275. So the batting average is both sides is serious jump from last season. 3 2 pitch on the way, and that will be the second walk surrendered by Kevin. Let's take a look at our PNC minor league report. PNC for the achiever in you. Uh, John Maines, a pretty impressive outing last night. Up about eight innings, scattering the six hits, no runs on the board with four punch outs and two walks. That's a career high for John Maines. Uh, signed uh, back in 2014, 11th round pick out of West Virginia. He's only 24 years old. Uh, this year, 5 and 7 with a 4 4 8, but impressive outing. Last night in double A buoy. And the pitch inside, lots of signings going on after the draft. Ball clubs getting their draftees signed up and decide where they'll go for some midsummer ball and then maybe fall league. 1 0 count. Fly to center field, first time up. Featherston over the top on that one. Had an 0 for 5 so far in the series. Kevin really unhappy with himself after losing Beckham, had him ahead on the count, and then walked him to put him on at first. 1 1 delivery on the way. Featherston will take it. And now he's trying to get that uh, ground ball double play. A couple change ups at the bottom of the zone. And hoping uh, Featherston gear enough for the heater, gets out in front, a little off balance for some soft contact. 2 1 delivery. Inside out swing to right. Smith. He'll put it away. And the runner goes back. How about Kevin Gosman? Uh, you know, before the ball game, he was talking about him getting better and better as the season progresses. Well, here is proof. Obviously, slow start in April. Here we are, uh, start July, where he's had a pretty good month 4 2 0 in his career. But uh, look at the numbers, how impressive it gets. And can't forget, of course, Kevin Gosman's great second half of last season. Uh, pitched to a 310 earned run average uh, after the All Star break last year. Pretty amazing, consistent numbers. Swing and a miss. Off speed on the breaking ball. Sucre grounded out his first time up. Asus Sucre doing the catching and staying in after you took that foul ball off the what was a hit batter and the ball bounced hit him on the thumb. So he's getting his first at bat since that happened. And a strike on the outside corner 0 and 2. Well, Joseph definitely getting that glove broken in today. Man he is cutting the cheese loose. Impressive fastball velocity and uh, more impressively just the consistency of the pitch and he's got the good command going. 0 2 count Beckham still over there at first base. And a little roller. Played at first base and the out retired Mancini and that looked like that really hurt the thumb. Oh. He is hurting going back. He, you know that and it might not have been a from the uh, hitting hit. On that um, hit by pitch. It might be just getting jammed nasty. 
heavy fastball riding in hard. Yeah, he releases the bat. He knows there's some pain coming. That got it even worse. Mm. Let's see whether he gets back out behind the plate or not. Doesn't look very good. No. Two down. It does move a runner down to second base. Beckham. Borges up. Number nine hitter. Strikeout victim. His first time up. Two away. And off the end of the bat and foul. Tampa Bay getting just their second runner to second base. Morrison drew a walk in the second and was wild pitch down there and then. The next three batters were retired. Oh one count. Peter Borges waits on it and it'll be down low for a ball. The guys been doing a number on so far on this highly offensive ball club. As the Rays have made hitting a big part of their year. Fourth and runs scored, second in home runs. 1 1 delivery. Movement away, 2 and 1. I like how he's getting out there, though, on the glove side. Making some misses just off the plate, off the outside corner. Right handed batters, especially. Start looking out there. Two on delivery to Borges. Strike again. Beauty showing he's hitting that spot more consistently. Now starting to get the call. Right, it's all over the plate anyway. Two balls, five, uh, two walks rather, and five strikeouts for Gosman. Two down here, runner off second, and the 2 2 delivery, and that's that. Six strikeouts in the ball game. No runs, no hits, no errors. One left on base. Gosman dominating in this one. Lights finishing up a short homes down and Manny Machado and the O's on the board a smash how about 111 miles an hour off the bat 16 degree launch angle the average launch angle for home runs 28 degrees and that's a line drive bullet out of the park how about this one here down and in heater 103 miles an hour off the bat another launch angle 20 degrees yeah, that's a line drive as well Orioles bats heating up helping Kevin Gosman out a little bit. Geico 15 minutes could save you 15 percent or more on car insurance visit Geico.com to see how much you could save. Or else we'll try and extend that lead. As. Joey Rickert will stand in Rickert sacrifice that helped set up. That three run third inning. See so moved runners to second and third. Top of the order Smith and Matty Machado. 1-0 delivery by Cobb. 
Down to third right into the glove of Longoria. Right place right time. Right move. Help support the patients and families of the University of Maryland Medical Center by attending a special fundraising event for Shannon's Fund on Friday August 18 here at the ballpark. Ticket packages for the event begin as low as fifty dollars. You get a game ticket and exclusive pregame barbecue on the center field roof deck for tickets and more Orioles.com slash Shannon's Fund. That's the roof deck where the folks are enjoying the ball game. Out in the uh, above the batter's eye in center field. Smith, the big error that he reached on in the third inning, would open it up, come around to score. He is also flied out to center field. Seth now with a four for 16. Lifetime off Cobb. Shift on against him. And the pitch will come inside one on one. I'd like to see him uh, whistle one over there to the left side of the field. Wide open with the big shift on him again. One one delivery. Breaking ball. First outing and the only other one this year Cobb has had against the Orioles. He gave up three runs, two earned. On eight hits, working five innings in that ball game, pitched against Dylan Bundy. Got some pretty good lungs. Did you hear that? I think everybody heard that. <laughs> that one will go to left field. Dickerson will back up and put it away, and there are two down. Baby's going to be a broadcaster. For every Orioles walk here first, Brook Classroom we'll Shield, $50 supporting the American Diabetes. Association there have been 206 walks ten thousand three hundred dollars care first Blue Cross Blue Shield encourages each of us to take that first step towards a healthier and more active lifestyle. We've had some real teeny tiny babies here at the ballpark today that's we if that's the one that was screaming <laughs> Sign him look up. out Celine Dion. Manny Machado the big blow in the game so far with home run number 16 in that third inning three RBIs hit the ball hard twice he was denied a base hit his first time up by the shortstop Tim Beckham who made a real fine play against him on a hard hit ball towards the middle. Cobb with the 0 1 for Manny on the year the home run. Here in this ballpark was number 10. 10 out of the 16 have been hit here. 233 average here at Oriole Park and uh, 200 elsewhere. Fouled into the seats down the line. Another good contact on it. One and two. Now yeah, change up right there. Staying up in the zone. Manny in a good position really to handle any pitch right now. The problem was uh, early on or has been this season for Manny. Just getting jumpy, inability to wait. Basically a one pitch type of swing. Well, nice to see him getting on a change up there. Of course, rake that fastball out of Camden. It's for our second AB. A B. One two delivery way outside doing. Orioles completed the first half of last year 47 and 34. 47 wins. They're going after their 40th win. In the middle game of this 2017 season. And he gets another one in the air, not quite as hard. And that will be played by Dickerson. A 1 2 3 inning for Cobb. The Orioles, though, have the lead. 5 zip.
Pharaoh today, a longtime football player with both the uh, Stallions and the Ravens, won championships with both. O.J. Brigance, who is on hand here in 07 ALS diagnosis, they created the Brigance Brigade Foundation to equip, encourage, and empower people living with ALS. They have supported a number of such folks and continue to do so. We thank him for his perseverance and for even in the times he's in to give to others who also suffer from ALS. O.J. Brigance here at the ballpark. Make sure you understand how fortunate you are. Oh my. If you have Fair your health. The pitch will be taken for a strike. Kevin Gosman back on the hill, sixth inning, leadoff batter. Smith has struck out twice. We'll get a base hit here, leading off the sixth. So the second hit of the day for the Rays. Fans, remember anytime the O's score four runs or more, you win free McDonald's Chicken McNuggets. Download McDonald's app today, available in Baltimore area McDonald's. Lead off single off Gosman. That'll bring Dickerson up. Dickerson is flied out and grounded out. The Larrays try and mount something. They have left only three on base, two in scoring position. They've not had a runner to third. In the ball game, Orioles infield will be straight up. Double play depth. Off speed delivery will miss for a ball. Alfonso Marquez, home plate umpire, drawing the assignment on this hot Sunday. Back of his shirt soaked. They don't get to go in between yeah. innings. Right? <laughs> he just. Make sure you stay hydrated though. Yeah. 90 degrees when we started the game. 1 0 delivery on the way by Kevin tailed away great pitch. Ooh. Unbelievable confidence in that pitch right now doubling up we've seen him triple up with the pitch and really basically today just the fastball change combination of course the lefties getting that split change as it works away off that outside corner. One ball one strike count Smith off first. Dickerson will take it away. Down goes to two and one. Only 87 pitches thrown. We talked about Kevin's efficiency here with only two walks, six strikeouts, and getting a combination of outs, fly balls, ground balls. Two one delivery on the way. Came in, caught the corner. Dickerson was looking away by the looks of it, and it's two and two. Now, beautiful pitch right there. Good fastball right across the knees. Dickerson not liking it because he's used to mistakes up and out over. He's made a living this season. That's a pitcher's pitch right there, driving it down and in. 2 2 delivery on the way. Chipped the end of the bat on that one. Plays at first. Gosman will make it. Smith goes down to second. One away. So you want to win an eight baseball great T-shirt and other Masson Oriole prizes? Well, follow at Masson Orioles on Instagram and see how to enter. That's at Masson Orioles on Instagram for your chance to win. One away, runner at second base. Longoria has popped out and grounded out. Longorio, the four for 12 in these ball games, came in hitting 303 this year against the Orioles and nine RBIs this season against the O's. And a chance for another one right here with a runner at second and one out. Yeah, he has tormented the Orioles throughout his career. Those numbers there, though, 323, maybe three RBIs with runners in scoring position. Smith standing out there at second base right now. Tampa Bay's had an 0 for 4 in these situations so far today. And uh, back in a little bit too much, maybe a little low. Yesterday, Smith scored for uh, Longoria on a hit and run. The first base takes off running. Longoria slaps it to the right side of the infield. He came all the way around. Yeah. Unbelievable speed. Orioles will let that run go. They get the out here, keeping that 
infield spread out. Reached on the off speed pitch and fouled it off. Now so the count goes to one and two. Evan Longoria coming into the year 271 major league average. Trying to get to that 300 home run mark. The 241 entering this season. One ball two strike count. Jumps away from that one inside belt high. Two and two. Kevin Gosman not feeling for that pitch at all. Well, Joseph calling for the inside heater. I'm at a little jackknife piece at 97 miles an hour. I'm cutting it loose. Orioles will get their first exercise up in the bullpen, not throwing yet. 2 2 delivery on the way, and that'll be outside. So a full count, three balls and two strikes. Orioles starters, second half of the season, no question, lengthening outings is going to be vital. Kevin Gosman trying to assist in that regard. Trying to get through the sixth inning here. Third 3 2 delivery on the way, and he gets him. Longoria chasing on a pitch, probably away at strikeout seven. Now borderline, but um, a little too close. How about 98 miles an hour on that outside corner? My, oh my. Ball is by Longoria there. A little in between, thinking about the change maybe. And the heat is coming. Caleb Joseph's glove, yeah, he is executing today. So Kevin looking to leave another runner on. That'll bring Morrison up. He's got the other raised base hit, came in the fourth inning. He has also drawn a walk. Two down. Smith jumping around at second base, and that'll be fouled off. They need the long ball now. First uh, bullpen action, Michael Givens. Some easy tossing out there. Gosman's worked as many as seven, did that against Washington, May 8. Is high in innings pitched. And the look back runner back. No coverage in any event. I like it though. Gosman, uh, you don't have to make a pickoff move. Just let them know you're thinking about them. Here's the 0 1 delivery on the way to him, and he'll put that back into the seats. So, a souvenir for the folks on this Sunday from Logan Morrison. And a two strike count. And now find that put away. That has been good today. He's been uh, rushing that fast fastball in there. Of course, the lefties have been seeing the nasty splitty down and away. Fans want a K. And the 0-2 delivery on the way, a little roller. Into the shift. Tejada, the shortstop, will make the throw and get the out. No runs on one hit, no errors, and one left on. Our miles to do ups. Coming into the next inning, scope Jones and Trumbo.
Page Orioles going to be going to Minnesota part of the road trip upcoming and from the Minnesota Star Tribune Brandon Kensler thrust into the closing row last year Glenn Perkins down with an injury has a chance to go to the All Star game Kensler entered Saturday tied for second American League third in the majors with 21 saves 2.62 ERA solid closer a 108 whip Orioles may encounter Brandon Kensler on the next road trip in Minnesota. Orioles hope they don't. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be a they... safe situation. Yeah. <laughs> ah, yes. It's the summer dress time. On our 90 plus degree afternoon here at Camden Yards. Jonathan Scope leading it off, and there's the breaking ball that will miss. Scope has struck out, grounded out. Three RBI homer by Manny Machado, solo shot by Mark Trumbo. Another run scored on an error. And for the Twins, just a couple of base runners. Nobody to third. And Kevin Gosman dominating. Alex Cobb with the two home runs off him. Scope, Jones, and Trumbo do up here in the sixth. 2-0 delivery high in the air to right long long run Borges will get over there he was way over in the gap also on our Sunday columns page regarding Milwaukee the brew crew coming up starting tomorrow night for the Orioles when the Brewers claim catcher Stephen vote off waivers from Oakland last Sunday simply a case of a player at a specific position they felt was a strong fit on the club well it didn't take long. The good news was the teams not in contention weren't likely to pick up vote in the remaining one and a half million. The Brewers claim was awarded. Vote was theirs made a huge impact first home game Friday to run two home runs accounting for all of the runs in a victory three two over Miami. It's all they vote need. will be there for the brew crew on their home run hitter. My goodness they're leading uh, the National League in home runs this season. Yep. 1 0 pitch on the way to Adam strike in the inside corner Brewers on top by three games over the Cubs in that central Orioles will face them tomorrow night down to third that will be a foul ball or tomorrow during the day sorry day game tomorrow part of the July 4th celebration. Be 1.30 for O's extra, 2 o'clock for the ball game. July 4 game, it'll be 3.30 for O's extra, 4 o'clock for the game. Then July 5, it'll be 6.30 O's extra and 7 o'clock for the game. So three different start times in Milwaukee. Reach for into the glove. And from his knees, Cobb makes the play on Adam Jones. Wow. Nice play right there. Probably would have been an infield hit for Adam Jones. Not for Cobb showing his athleticism. How about this one? A little number there reaching out. And a step and a dive away and from his knees. To throw out Adam Jones. How about this reaction time? It's his feet going. Boom. Turns able to square up. A little more accurate from the knees. And the next time, of course, uh, beginning of the ball game, he made an error on a comebacker. Makes a tough play, not the simple one. Right. So two down, nobody on. Trey Mancini, 0 for two in the ball game, 0 for 10 in the series, and 0. Uh, Mark Trumbo rather, Mancini on deck. Trumbo got the home run in the fourth inning, and that was number 12. And the pitch will be taken for a strike. And a little fastball down and in. A pretty impressive swing from Trumbo. Jones down there getting a look. Brian Ebel, uh, trainer for the Orioles, making sure Adam Jones okay. 1-1 one, one delivery on a check swing that he held up on. So Trumbo, two ball, one strike count. Mark obviously looking to pick up the numbers as well in the second half. Adam. Walking away. 
2 1 delivery on the way. And Mark will take that for a strike <laughs> on the outside corner with a noteworthy response. Yeah, I don't think that was uh, one of the happy looks for Trumbo. A little upset at that call there. Fastball ball never came back. Cobb, two ball, two strike count. Cobb hanging in. Trying to get through six. Nobody warming up. You know he's given up the uh, five runs, three hits, one unearned. And the 3 2 delivery on the way inside on the fists. Back into the seats. Made sure he got that fastball in there. Of course, uh, Trumbo taking him deep on a fastball on the inner third. Last at bat. And that one uh, driven hard in there, well off that inside corner. Trying to open up that outside edge. Great silhouette shot. Three two delivery on the way breaking ball and Mark is on. That's the first walk. Surrender by Cobb comes with two away here in the sixth inning. Lock in your Birdland summer and reserve your seats for upcoming promotions including infielders bottle stopper set Jonathan scope bobblehead presented by Ocean City Maryland 25th anniversary Oriole Park replica ballpark and more tickets at Orioles .com. Scopey the Knicks bobblehead. And the pitch is strike in the outside corner. Here is Trey trying to get out of the O for 14. Fly out, ground ball out today. Two down, Trumbo on at first base. Mancini jumps back a little bit. Trey's had a couple of home runs, five RBIs against. The Rays this year, 263 average. Getting his first look at Cobb in today's game. One ball, one strike. Down to third, Evan Longoria. Fine stop. Plenty of time and records the out. No runs, no hits, no errors, and one left on base. Orioles on top, 5 six. In the game, it's Miller time brought to you by Miller Lights. Now, third inning, the wheels started to fall off. Alex Cobb here, a little number from Seth Smith. He looks Caleb Joseph back and yoikes and away up the right field line. Oh my gosh, you can't believe it. Caleb Joseph in to score. Orioles on the board. Tejada over to third. Smith into second base. Didn't stop there. That inning, uh, four runs on the board for the Orioles. Five nothing lead right now. Kevin Gosman still in the ball game. Entering the top of the seventh. 
Not exactly a hitter's day. The Orioles have scored five runs on three hits. And the Rays no runs on two. All about pitching the starters. Stevens is the junior against Gosman is struck out and flied out. And he will take the pitch on the outside corner for a strike. Orioles seeking to avoid the three game sweep. And uh, pick up a ball game that will again put him ahead in the season series against the Rays. High heat up 97 still so the velocity has not gone down. Yeah. Pretty uh, efficient there. Yeah. 97 miles an hour top of the zone. Oh, goodness. 0 2 delivery on the way. Another one at 97. Really only left a couple of those heaters in the middle of the plate. No, that Morrison whistled out to right field. Other than that, he's been moving the fastball around with that high velocity all game long. 0 2 pitch on the way. Pitching here in the seventh as though he knows this is it for him. Yeah, I would say. Kevin's uh, kind of been cruising through this game. Pitch count up over 100 right now. He's he's thrown a lot of pitches before, but uh, certainly want him to. Mm, another K. Leave on a good note. How about 98 miles an hour? 103rd pitch, 98 miles an hour, cutting right across the kneecaps here. Oh my goodness, that is a fastball. A lot of life there started on the outside corner work back over the middle of the plate but the location at the bottom of the zone big and of course that 98 mile an hour velocity certainly helps. He's just one shy of his season high in strikeouts. He's got eight. He had nine against Cleveland. Career high is ten. He may not face enough batters to get it but he certainly has the stuff to get him in this game. Boy, he sure does. Tim Beckham Beckham has walked and struck out. 0 1 count one down. Kevin's thrown as many as 116. Once against the Nats on May 8th and against the Cardinals on June 16th. Or the 11th. Can't read my writing. 16th. Good. Here's the 0 2 delivery on the way. That'll be outside. Even better part than the strikeouts is the fact that the swings, what Buck Showalter always says, hitters will tell you how you're doing as a pitcher. The swings by Tampa Bay, a real good hitting ball club today, have been weak. They've not been good. He's kept them off balance. They've had a lot of half swings. But really have not been able to barrel up against Kevin in this ball game. Oh yeah, he's kept him uh, guessing. Really, his ability to move his fastball around, the high velocity, playing the changeup, obviously off the heater, occasional slider. Maybe he's thrown uh, six in this game, but hasn't really needed it. He's just playing the fastball change combination. The one-two delivery. Well. But Joe Alder said before the game how we fare in the second half it'll go right back to what we've always talked about. It's all going to be about if we can be consistent more consistent getting deep into games with our starting pitching. It's what we've done in the past when we've been competitive and that's what we're going to have to do. I don't care how many uh, guys you add you know and it, there's a wear and tear on, on a team. So regardless of who we get back and how we do that. If, if we aren't more consistent in that, it's going to be a challenge. But, you know, the potential is there. And we saw it in April. Seeing it again today from Kevin Gosman. Oh, you love to see it. Yeah, Kevin getting deep in the game. Uh, you know, it's been tough to keep the bullpen fresh. That's the problem. You, know, you can go through the revolving doors, but now that they're starting to get healthy again with O'Day back and Britain on the mend, you need that for a consistent bullpen. And that's been the strength of the Orioles and obviously a little help from the starters would go a long way. See Zach on the bench Zach Britton on the DL due back probably Wednesday. Featherston 0 for 2 is flied out breaking ball inside. And a two ball one strike count. Two one two down. Shutout being thrown by Gosman. Down to third, find backhand Manny. Here's the long throw, and it's on the money. 
Not as easy as he makes it look. A one two three inning and Kevin Gosman will get a great hand as he comes out. He gives the high five to Manny on the way by for that play. Seventh inning stretch time. Recognize Ernest Marvell, a private first class, 93 years old. He threw out the first pitch of the ball game today and didn't find out about it till yesterday. Uh, something like this, I mean, I never really even thought it was going to happen. I was told at the Legion last night that I uh, was going to throw the first pitch. I said, Well, that's news to me. <laughs> and there he is. He saw combat duty in France and Germany and helped liberate Dachau, the concentration camp. 93 years old, Ernest Marvel, and recognized by Buck Showalter. We just, you can never say enough about what those men and women did in World War II and what they went through. I can't even imagine, and they don't talk about it very much, going to one of those concentration camps and being one of the liberators. Oh, I know. I mean, it's incredible. I mean, you can read books. You can obviously see some movies and stuff like that. But when you talk to these men that went through it, uh, it's uh, it's unbelievable. Yeah, you can't even imagine that type of situation. You had a chance to see him downstairs, right, before, yeah, yeah, yeah. before the game today. Absolutely, yeah. So uh, pretty exciting, obviously, for him. Yeah, yeah. Isn't it unique uh, that he says, uh, I didn't even know it was going to happen. Gets out there, throws a strike, and I see him and Buck Showalter having a few words there. Yeah. Pretty special day for everybody here to witness him yeah. throwing that first pitch. That's what it's all about. And the Orioles, Kevin Gosden threw the first pitch and not many cents, and all of them Pretty darn good. Boy, has he looked good in this ball game. Pretty impressive. You know, Kevin Gosby kind of feel that he was getting better and better in his last couple outings. Nice to see him getting deep in this ball game, save the bullpen. And a nice uh, start for Kevin here as we approach the All Star break for sure. Outstanding outing. Somehow Cobb has been able to stay on in this game. I, I don't mean that negatively, but he has uh, seen the Orioles on top throughout 5 0. He's been very efficient. Look at the pitch count for him. We're in the bottom half of the seventh inning, but no offense has been uh, provided behind him. And the Orioles have taken advantage of a door that was opened in that third inning on his error. Here's Caleb Joseph. Caleb started that inning with a base hit. He's one for two in the ball game, four game hit streak for the Oriole catcher. 2 0 count on him here. Cobb has walked one, struck out two, and the pitch inside. Yeah, Cobb's definitely looked good. He's been in the zone as well, and that's why that pitch count's so manageable. He's uh, 
getting a bunch of the Oriole hitters to swing early. He's been hit terribly hard other than a couple home runs that the O's have hit Machado and Trumbo. O's have done to uh, Tampa Bay what Tampa Bay's done to most other teams this year and that's get ahead of them with a home run. Ray Mancini. A little skull session there. Mancini going through a little downtime right now offensively. Outside corner strike full count three two from Cobb. Joseph to hot up Rickert. Seven eight nine in the order due up for the Orioles. And the full count delivery on the way to him Caleb off the fist he's got another one. Puts that one into right field so he has gone left right for the two hits he's had in the ball game and it's another leadoff single. The Hyundai better than ever sales event with the best total savings on select models in Hyundai's history is going on now at your Hyundai dealer. First uh, bullpen action we have seen Whitley up for the Rays. Cobb surrendering the base hit only the fourth the Orioles have as they've had two singles from Joseph and two home runs Trumbo and Machado a check swing did he go nope twenty six thousand four eight nine the announced today two six four eight nine here at Camden Yards. The 1 0 count to how to hit by a pitch scored in the third. Lined out to second his last time up. Ruben Tejada will take the pitch inside. That was Caleb Joseph actually getting that third inning started with that leadoff single. It was the first hit of the ball game. A little flare shot finding some outfield grass. And here in the seventh, Caleb getting the inning going with the base hit. And he put up another crooked number. Short lead at first base for Caleb. 2 0 delivery on the way. That's going to be a base hit into left field. Dickerson on the hop. So Tejada's on, and the Orioles get the first two on here in the seventh. Join the Oriole advocates in celebrating the 25th anniversary of Oriole Park. It'll be a 25th anniversary luncheon Friday, August 18, noon to 2 at the warehouse. Luncheon celebrates the ballpark that changed forever. Baseball ballparks. Honoring members of the 92 team. Tickets are $100 for details 410 247 2703. So now the question for Kevin Cash when to get Cobb out of the ball game. Bullpen may not be quite ready. Rickard coming up is sacrificed and lined out to third. Two on, nobody out. Again, looking for a bunt. Morrison in on the grass, just off the cut, even with the bag at third is Longoria. Rickard not showing any bunt there, takes the pitch for a strike. Yeah, they were a little tentative on the corners, not as aggressive as they were earlier in the game back in the third inning. And Joey Rickard uh, pushed that bunt towards first base. Backing up a little bit there, getting themselves into double play depth. Joy Rickard with the 0 1. Boston trouncing Toronto today, 11 to 1. Mookie Betts has gone 4 for 5, 8 RBIs, and 2 home runs. Joe Biagini started for Toronto, 7 runs, 10 hits, and 5 and a third. Pomerantz is on for Boston a run on five hits through six. Ain't going to get any easier for them either. The Yankees no. come into town and then the Astros before the break. You really get the feeling for Toronto that that door is open then it's whoosh. Mm. Oh two delivery on the way record file tipped into the mitt for the strikeout. So the third strikeout for Cobb in the first out of the seventh inning. And we could try to hold up right there on the high fastball up and in, but uh, catches a piece of the bat. So be able to hold on to it back there. Good the hands by the catcher. 
Uh, Cobb wants the conversation. Sucre, the catcher, goes up. And Jim Hickey's going to come and get him. So the bullpen now ready. They just wanted to draw a couple more throws, I think, for the pen. Hickey, the pitching coach. Kevin Cash with the banged up ankle. Not able to make pitching changes. So if anybody's going to do it, I guess Hickey would do it. But apparently not right here. No. Interesting. Maybe uh, had some success here. Off Seth Smith sticking with the game plan a little bit. 98 pitches thrown. One tough inning back in the third. The Orioles have not have left only one on in the ball game. That was the first base in the sixth inning. They've got runners on at first and second base here in the seventh. One down, two on, breaking ball in the air, left center field, going back, warning track, reaching, can't get it, face first. Down goes Smith. One run is scored. Second run coming to the plate. Here's Tejada. He'll score. It's a double. Two RBIs for Smith and one too many batters for Cobb. What a face first plunge Smith had in center field. My goodness. Well, Seth Smith smokes this baseball, and I think uh, the center fielder for the Rays thought. It wasn't hit as hard. Had to turn it into high gear and a little too late. See him go crashing into the outfield wall there, just off the end of the glove. But off the bat, he was more in coast mode. The big breaking ball stays up in the top of the zone, and Smith gets behind it, smokes that baseball. Yeah, it came off high. 18 RBIs for Seth Smith and a much more comfortable seven to nothing lead. Pitching change brought to you by Jiffy Lube. Jiffy Lube stores now do brake services. Stop in and let Jiffy Lube perform a free brake inspection today. Game, only last in the six and a third. Surprised he was in there that long, but only 99 pitches. Didn't give up many hits either. Only six. And we was able to get to him here in the seventh inning. He's going to give way to Chase Whitley, 25th game. Yeah, called up uh, in the middle of April. Done a nice job in middle relief. 3 2 1 earned run average. Opponents hitting just 186. He's got all four pitches. Nothing overpowering, but a steady mix of the fastball, slider, curve, and change. See the first batter. 091 pretty successful there and very successful stranding the runners on base. Take a look at Alexis the Towson drive of the game. Oh Manny Machado on an Alex Cobb fastball about belt high and they got out in a hurry a bullet three run shot for Machado. Alexis the Towson the area's number one volume Lexus dealer for seven straight years come see why at Lexus of Towson dot com. Two on one out. Manny a towering pop up third base side. And I mean towering. Longoria goes over and puts it away. Pitch in and out. 
Craig Gentry has come on to run at second base for Smith, who got that two RBI double. So Gentry will be staying in the ball game, going into right field. Two down, runner at second base, and Jonathan Scope, who is 0 for 3 in the ball game, will stand in. Whitley has picked up a win against the Orioles this year, 1 and 0. In the, the game, he gave up in four innings, one run on one hit, while striking out four. He is one and two lifetime against the Orioles. Michael Givens still up in the O's pen, ready to rock and roll. Kevin Gosman working through the first seven. 1 0 delivery on the way is outside. 2 0. Now we know about uh, Jonathan Scope's monster numbers in June, and of course, uh, leading all of Major League Baseball with the 14 multi hit games. Jonathan Scope uh, hoping for a shot at the All Star game. A big burst in June. Three for six with two home runs off Whitley, and he too will pop it up first base side. Morrison ball drifting but he gets there and puts it away good defensive play Orioles get a couple of runs on Seth Smith's two RBI double stretch time is over. Out of the ball game, but wow, did he tame the Rays bats? Much needed performance. How about starting the game with the nasty split finger? Souza went down. Everybody in this lineup went down. Gosman had it going on. Nasty splitty today. Power fastball. Get below 95 miles an hour. Steady about 97, 98. Hit 99 a couple times as well. Nasty change up on the outside corner right there to get Beckham. Tying a season high. With nine punch outs, seven strong innings for Kevin Gosman. Just what the doctor ordered 112 pitches, and uh, looks like Gosman is back. Let's hope for a solid second half. Michael Givens into the ball game. 35th appearance for the O's. Six wins out of the O's bullpen with a 225 earned run average. 39 punch outs. Yeah, he's a strikeout machine in 40 innings of work, and opponents hitting just 205 overall. So Michael Givens will come on in his fifth game against Tampa Bay this year. He's only given up a run on three hits in four and two thirds innings. And he will start out with a strike. Sucre leading it off. Borges on the top of the order. Smith. As Tampa Bay, their offense really held down magnificently by Kevin Gosman in this one. One ball, one strike count. Now this is Buck Showalter's uh, dream start right here. Obviously, it'd be nice to get a complete game, but getting deep in the game, Buck can play matchup right now. Got the back end of this bullpen ready to go. That one in the air to left field. Sucre, did he get enough? Goodbye, home run. 
So the catcher for the Rays delivers the long ball leading off the eighth inning. And there is the first run of the day and his fourth home run of the season. Yeah, pretty impressive that he's even still in this ball game. They're taking the uh, hit by pitch of Tejada off that thumb. And Kevin Gosman getting hard in there on the knuckles. But how about this one? Squares it up, finds the barrel, comes off hot. And Rickard looked like he had a bead on it, but just getting out of Camden. So Sucre gets him on the board and makes it a 7 to 1 ball game. It'll be foul back. Borges on the swing on the first pitch. Just the th third hit of the ball game picked up by the Rays today. And the pitch away. Before we leave Kevin Gosman, uh, bear in mind, Gosman has now had two starts with no runs. He worked against uh, Toronto five and a third, gave up no runs on four hits. Then the seven innings today, and if you go back, he now has pitched 12 and two thirds scoreless innings consecutive for Kevin. Uh, yeah. Against two pretty good offenses. One two delivery headed to the hole. That's going to be a base hit. So Borges is on with the single first offensive life for the Rays today. Orioles baseball on Masson is brought to you by Chesapeake Employers Insurance your workers compensation insurance company and by visit Annapolis.org create your moment at visit Annapolis.org. Nobody out runner on at first base. Smith a base hit and a couple of strikeouts lead off batter. Bends away but the pitch is going to catch the inside corner for a strike. Michael Givens of course has been a workhorse for the Orioles especially with. The Oriole closer out of there. While Zach has been away. Givens has had a lot of work his 35th appearance. Only Brad Brock at 36 is ahead of him for the Orioles. Well, Michael Givens, one of the uh, trusted ones out in the Orioles bullpen. A lot of different arms have found a seat out there. With, uh, Givens, Brock, been a very consistent for the Orioles. Misses away and a two-ball, one-strike count. And you see uh, Brad Brock, Aaron O'Day. Two-one delivery. Evans gets that one in there. Swing and a miss. Cutting pitch coming inside. Count goes 2 2. Boston just slamming Toronto 15 to 1. Wow. Two balls, two strikes. Scope to Hada and Cini. Not too easy to clean those two guys up. Borges and Smith, great speed. Pace of the ball. Helps Jonathan Scope and Tejada here. Squares it up. Fastball, but right to Jonathan Scope. A little momentum towards the target. Quick kick with the right foot. And boom, Tejada on to first base. Make sure he gets that play and making it look easy. Orioles, big double play. So two down, nobody on the run in on the homer by Sucre. Now Dickerson, 0 for 3 in the ball game. They've done a great job holding this offensive juggernaut down. He's had just one hit, 11 at bats, and the pitch taken away on the year. Dickerson coming in against the Orioles, hitting 333 with a couple of home runs and four RBIs. But those numbers have not been pushed up in this series. 1 0 delivery. Michael Givens change up right there. Came up with it last year. And then using it uh, consistently against the lefties off that big fastball. See Blyer hustling up to get ready. Here's the 1 1 delivery. That'll be hit towards second. Scope. Nice backhand, strong arm throw, and we'll get the out. 
So one run one hit the home run by Sucre that's number six off Givens this year it's seven to one. Time for the unlimited baseball break. It's brought to you by T-Mobile. Well, the Red Sox putting it on uh, today, 15 to one, seventh bets the big day, eight RBIs, a couple of home runs. Pomerantz looking for the W. The uh, Yankees, who are trailing the Red Sox, coming into today's play by two. They're looking at the Astros leading them, five nothing now in the fourth inning. Gonzalez, a big day so far. Yankees lost uh, yesterday as well to Houston after winning the opener so the Red Sox may increase their lead to three over the Yankees today if those scores hold up. Adam Jones will lead it off in the bottom half of the eighth inning Adam an 0 for three. He's had a couple of hits in 11 at bats in this series. Whitley stays on getting the two outs in the seventh inning. Cobb ending up seven runs six earned six hits six and a third. 1 0 in the air. Shallow right. Who wants it? Right fielder. Borges just there and he's got it. And Jones is retired, one away. This copyrighted telecast is presented by Authority of the Orioles and may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form. And the accounts and descriptions of this game may not be disseminated without the express written consent of the Orioles. Miguel Castro in the Orioles' bullpen. So the Oriole crowd today on this Sunday a lot to cheer about early. The Orioles getting on top in that third inning and uh, that has been enough. Fouled away Trumbo added to it with his 12th home run that came in the fourth. Mark getting his sixth career home run against the Rays. Two of those have been hit this year. Open Manny Machado. 0 1 delivery is there for a strike. Now you like the fact that the Orioles offense able to uh, give Kevin Gosman some support, but the true story of this game, Gosman's outing for sure. In seven strong innings. He had a uh, tough time getting deep into ball games here lately as well. Just like the rest of the Orioles pitchers, some problems here, but. Uh, down to third. What a play! Longoria's throw is in time. The magic glove at third base that time of Evan Longoria because that ball was whistled by Trumbo. Well, you better be ready. And he was. Unbelievable play right there. Harder it's hit, the lower you get. Take a look at Longoria. Gets the feet moving. Take a look at the eyes. Mm, getting it down low behind the baseball. Impressive play right there by Longoria. And then the momentum swinging him all the way back around. A little 360. And the throw to first base. Right on the money. Trumbo has hit the ball hard. That time denied. That was one away off the bat. Two down, nobody on here in the eighth inning. Trey Mancini and 0 for 3. He'd like to get one here and get rid of this 0 for 15 that he's got. Take a hit on the road. Start things out tomorrow in Milwaukee. 
0 1 delivery over the top on that one 0 2. Nice pitch there. Slider it looked like 82 miles an hour. We saw Scott Coolbaugh a couple innings ago talking to Trey Mancini. It might have been just how they're pitching him, but definitely try to keep his confidence up. A little frustration here. Pitch is going to be taken away. Trumbo over there going, Coach, I did just what you said, and I hit it really hard. <laughs> right? He's saying, well, <laughs> he you know, did. that third baseman has been a part of baseball for a long time. <laughs> Outfield played around to right on Trey. One two count. Mancini will take it inside. And the count will go to two and two. Two two delivery is bounced. So Whitley struggling trying to stay in that strike zone. MLB.tv every night, every device. Watch every out of market regular season game live. Plus, get a free subscription to At Bat Premium, number one app for live baseball. Blackout other restrictions apply. Visit MLB.tv for details. Three two delivery on the way. And he walked it. It's only the second walk the Orioles have picked up. Cobb gave up one. So Mancini's on with two down. Here in the eighth inning. And Caleb Joseph, the Oriole catcher, will get a chance to add to his two hit ball game. He singled twice, scored both times. Yeah, Caleb Joseph, uh, every time he gets in there, some quality at bats. Really locking into his approach, yeah, limiting the head movement, direct to the baseball, starting to shoot the ball all over the field right now. Scooped up. Whitley really. All of a sudden, the strike zones disappeared on him. Sucre going out to have a word with him. For Caleb, uh, this is the 11th multi hit game that he's had. He has picked up one four hit game, a couple of three hit ball games, and he's looking for another three hit game with this at bat. Runner off first, 1 0 delivery to him. Change up. And Caleb uh, looking to do some damage right there. With the big lead, feeling pretty good with a couple hits. For the extra base hit. Followed that up with a 90 mile an hour fastball and a little late on it. So one ball, two strike count on Caleb. Kevin Cash was talking yesterday after the ball game, one ten to three. I was nice not to have a nail biter once in a while. You could actually sit back and just watch your team deliver the win for Buck today. That's kind of the same thing. Orioles jumping out to the early lead, great pitching at Gosman, and uh, they've hung on to it. There's that broken ankle suffered for Kevin. 2 2 will be taken up high. And the count goes to 3 and 2. Runner goes. Full count delivery, and there's another one. Base hit into right field. Heading over to third base goes Mancini. All three hits by Caleb today. He found the Bermuda Triangle in left center for the first one, and twice just pushed one out to right field for two hits. Yeah, well, you like that one there. Two strikes, but uh, keeping the hands back enough to give himself a chance. That's all you want to do. Caleb does there. Keeps the weight back. Yeah, fooled a little bit. But look at the head position, the ability to get on the baseball there. Didn't lose his body at all. A nice piece of hitting. Orioles get seven hits. First and third. Two down. Tejada. Tejada's had one of them a base hit. He scored twice, hit by a pitch the other time when he got on. And he has lined out to second base. 
So the Orioles runners at the corners two down. In the eighth inning. They've got the seven to one lead. And looking to add to it. With the. Maybe another two out RBI. Oh one delivery to Hadi in the air. Second base. Featherston is there, puts it away, no runs, one hit, no errors. Two are left on base. The Orioles three outs away from their 40th win. Head on the road to start a road trip tomorrow. A three game set against the Brewers. Wade Miley will be on for the O's. Coverage on Massa begins at 1 30. O's Extra presented by Jeep. Game coverage at 2. All the access you need right here on Massa. And here's a look at the Brewers this season. Yeah, first place in the National League Central. And how about the home runs? 125. Pace the National League. Uh, Eric Thames off to an incredible start. 20 home runs this season. How about Travis Shaw? 17. They got some pretty good pitching over there as well. You see about middle of the way in National League ranking, but uh, doing enough. Chase Anderson and Jimmy Nelson both nine quality starts apiece. So it's going to be a test for the Orioles for sure. And Miguel Castro now into the ball game. 365 earned run average. Picked up a win the other day. 12 and a third innings of work. Seven punch outs for Castro. In his last outing pulled a big time Houdini. Had the bases loaded. Able to get a double play and then a punch out out unscathed, helping uh, Chris Tillman's earned run average stay down. First batter's 0 for 6 off Castro. He can bring some cheese in there, a little two seam life with the heater mid to high 90s and a slider to go along with it. Came over from Colorado early April. Castro did. He'll face Evan Longoria. Longoria an 0 for 3. Ninth inning. Orioles. On the verge of avoiding the sweep, and that will be fouled off. Longoria, pop out, strike out, ground out, Morrison, and then Souza do up. Orioles with a win will be still a game below 500, and Tampa Bay will remain two games above 500 with a loss here today. 0 1 delivery goes to short. Tejada finds it, gets it. Orioles baseball on Masson is brought to you by Southwest. Yes, the low fares with nothing to hide. That's transparency. Well, the starters today, Gosman a chance to win his fifth. No runs, two hits over seven, couple of walks, nine strikeouts. Cobb would be six and six with a loss. Seven runs, six earned, six hits over six and a third. No save situation here. Morrison, a base hit, a walk, and he is grounded out. One down, ninth inning. Orioles will be five and four against Tampa Bay on the year, so they're halfway through the series against Tampa Bay. 
and they uh, will even up the home record against them three and three. 2 0 count. Way up in the air towards right. Shift was on, so scope is already out there. And he's got it. Two down. Givens in relief, an inning, couple of hits, and one run. And now Castro trying to finish it off. Steven Souza Jr. has had an 0 for 3, couple of strikeouts and a fly ball to center field. A pretty nice way to uh, end this short home stand. Clean it up here. But, uh, Kevin Gosman's performance, couple home runs in today's ball game. Nice defensive plays. He's a junior whistling one down off mm. the ankle. Take a look here. Fastball, middle of the plate. No. Just above the guard. Actually on the guard. Maybe he got hit there before. So maybe a, an existing bruise underneath the guard. Caleb Joseph reaching up. Afraid he was going to fall. Here's the 0 1 delivery by Castro, and that's going to be a base hit. Chase down in the corner by Rickert. This is on his way to second. He'll go in with a double. Two out double here in the ninth inning. His first hit of the day and his sixth of this three game set. Might have been a little setup right there. 14th double. Didn't like it, like it uh, hurt him too bad when he was legging out that double. <laughs> Amazing how hits correct medical deficiencies. <laughs> Uh, Sousa gets the two bagger. Here is Beckham, who's drawn a walk and struck out twice. It's it up in the air. Should be the game. Scope. He's got it. That'll do it. Here in the ninth inning, no runs, one hit, no errors, and one left on base. Orioles come away with a victory. This one by a score of 7 1, out hitting Tampa Bay 7 4. Gosman, the winner, is 5 7. Cobb will take the loss. He is 6 6. And the Orioles move to 40 and 41.